Welcome back to 5 Minute Knives, the channel that doesn't know how to do its own lighting. Today, we're going to talk about this little TDI beast that I made this snazzy, frazzy sheath for. But first, let's try to sell one of these sheaths to you guys. And we're back! Okay, hopefully you guys bought a whole bunch of these little guys here. They're called sheaths. Your knives go in them. Most knives come with crappy ones. I provide you with a good one. A knife is man's second oldest tool, I do believe. Would make sense, right? Something sharp. Hammer being first, probably. But my favorite. Here's a hunter orange and black sheath. Just basic. Funny story about this sheath. It's from my buddy, Chris the Ghost. And uh, he let me borrow this from the last gun show. I made a sheath for him. And because I don't make Chris go through my website, which gives me a nice handy printout of all the little details you guys want, I quickly screwed it all up. <laughs> so not only does it have to be on the other side, which would actually show the uh, orange, the way he draws, um, you know, weak side, strong side, or like this with his left hand using the thumb to push off. But he did hit me up later and say, hey, don't get rid of this. I was going to sell it on eBay. He goes, I want that sheath. I got to use for it. Make another one. <laughs> so here you go, buddy. Chris is a funny guy. Let's talk about the TDI. This is, um, I think it's the 1480. It looks like the 2 and 5 16 inch blade. Zytel handles. You guys have seen these around. They go for about 50 bucks. But there it is. I mean, it's so cool. And you guys got to get these in hand to really feel like why it's special. For a long time, I kind of felt, you know lukewarm to this design. I think it was coming on the heels of like the cold steel push daggers and stuff. It didn't really, the push daggers were cool. They just didn't really integrate into my EDC very well. So they kind of went by the wayside. And when these came out, I sort of felt like it was more of the same, right? But it ain't. But it ain't. Okay. These, these things are actually pretty handy, useful, and amazing as a little backup, as Chris would say, get off me implement for your potato digging. But look how it fits in my medium large hands perfectly. Look at that. Just perfect. Of course, I can't get lighting right, but there you go. My thumb rests right there. You ain't getting this out of the old hydraulic mitts that's gate right here. But look at that. And then in the reverse grip, let's see what we can do. Yeah, I, I mean, I got some leverage there. I prefer it in the foregrip, of course. Ongoing argument I'm having with many of you about foregrip, reverse grip, holds and knives and karambits and you know, self-defense potato digging implements or whatever you want to call them. But I like foregrip. I like to, I like to get right there, get a good grip on it. I don't want this thing tweaking out on me. I want a good grip on it. It's mine. It's not going anywhere. You can't have it. It's my little TDI. It's in my hand. It's in my hydraulic mitt. So that's why I like foregrip, you know, let's check it in the other hand. Oh, oh, that's my, that's my dominant hand. Look at this. I mean, you can say arm wrestling is dumb, but it does give you some good mitts. Yeah. So yeah, this would be pretty great. Here's a good look at the sheath. I put orange finishing washers on this. And this is like not even what he wanted at all. He wanted carbon fiber oriented the other way. He's going to use loops. He didn't want the combat loop thing here. I just kind of went off, made my own thing. But when I have customers like Chris the Ghost... They kind of go off cuff and they have like six, seven, eight knives that they want she's made for at a time, things like that. I, I cut them a break when it comes to ordering. So they cut me a break when I make mistakes because they didn't order properly. So I didn't have the sheet and then I screwed it up because I'm a space cadet, <laughs> which happens. Plus, uh, some things get confused between orders too. A lot of you guys order the same stuff. So we need a printout. Go to dragonscaleconcealment.com to get yourself one of these. Yes, you have to send your knife in, but no, we've never had an issue. Believe it or not, the post office has not let me down yet. Everything's gone well. Customers all happy. And you know what's really cool about a sheath like this and this... Combat loop attachment. How I thought he was going to wear it was, you know, weak side scout right next to like, you know, belt buckle here, here's this, and here's strong side your gun. 
So you can kind of draw this in this grip or draw it in the reverse grip weak side if somebody went for his gun. I just kind of conflated the two. He wanted to go the other way. Um, as you can see here, I, le I leave these little wings and it can make retention a little awkward, but when she goes in there, boy, she locked. And then on drawing, your finger could be wrapped around, see? Your finger could be touching here, buddy. So sometimes you're pushing and it feels like it's a little tough. Just loosen up this finger right there and she'll pop right out. So it's kind of designed that way in, ca in case the bad guy grabs this, I didn't want them to get it out. Plus I needed a little more material right here. So I needed this wing, as you can see right there, here the wing on this side, just to hang onto that little divot, see? But it actually, it's really freaking nice. As long as you have that in mind, the bad guy will not know that. So that's actually pretty nice. And this thing balances by the tech lock. It's so, you know, well, it's actually a combat loop, but it's so light that it balances. So when you're done using this for the end of the day, it just kind of sits on your shelf like that. And it's really pleasing, almost like, you know, like it's floating in a way. And it makes me very, very happy. So that's the end of my spiel there. I'm not going to convince you guys to buy my she's. The she's speak for themselves if you want them. Put your order in right now. I could use the money, actually. So let me know and or get on subscribestar.com backslash 5-Minute Knives. And you get 15% off your sheath. So, you know, your first few months are all on me anyway, you know, if you're going to get a sheath. So plus, if I make a custom knife, you get 10% off of those. Pretty freaking cool. And I'm doing at least two of those a month now. I'm going to try to. So I need money for blanks. I need money for material. I got to practice. But every time I make a knife, you guys like buy them instantly. So I think I got to make a lot more. That's what you want, right? Knives, cool knives, custom knives. So I just don't want to grind them out and heat treat them. I'd, I'd rather just get the blank sent to me, make the handle, make the sheath, you know, pay myself for my time out the door. Happy customer, complete unit. So I think that's what we're going to do. Um, also, you can send me like emails and stuff if you have something in mind, like, hey, man, I want the cold steel recon tanto in this kind of sheath. I'll have you, um, you know, pay half up front. I'll, I'll get everything together and you can pay me when it's done. Boom. Something like that, maybe. All right. Enough yapping, but there are possibilities. If you guys need custom stuff, you let me know. Sheaths primarily. I also write dark comedy action fiction books under the pen name Joe Valen, V-A-L-L-E-N. So if you guys like to read books, check them out at your local bookstore. That's it for me. Cruising through the new year. I don't know. I'm trying to do more stuff with the channel. I, I think I'm going to be in front of the camera more. I'm going to mess with you guys more. Why not? We're all friends at this point. So I'm willing to come out of my shell more on this channel and hang out with you guys. Maybe some live stuff. Who knows? We got to hit like 10,000 for that. But let's go ahead and hit the bell. I need help with that and share the videos with friends when you can. And I will see you next time on 5-Minute Canoe Fleece.